Hello everyone, uh, we're back with No One Lives Forever. So, we're off to the third mission, Requiem for a Spy. And, uh, here we go. Needless to say, the Morocco assignment was an unmitigated disaster. Report to the war room for debriefing, and try to control your temper. Well, I think we can classify Morocco as a complete disaster. I knew we were asking for trouble sending a woman and a fossil like Lowry on an assignment like this. Let's not rush to judgment, shall we? Rush to judgment? I think the facts speak plainly enough. Ambassador Munro is dead, and we lost another operative, albeit one who should have been put out to pasture long ago. And all we have to show for it are a belligerent, over-educated captive who knows nothing of use and Ms. Archer here, who has demonstrated an alarming lack of competence in the field. I still don't like this guy's attitude. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You can say what you please about me, but if you speak ill of Bruno again, I'll demonstrate my alarming lack of competence on your thick skull. Because you're a woman, and therefore genetically incapable of bridling your emotions, I'm willing to pretend you didn't just threaten a committee member with physical violence. However, if you speak to me thusly again, I'll have you relieved of duty. As for your mentor, there is reason to believe he may have been our traitor. Bruno? What are you talking about? The evidence is largely circumstantial, but it is nonetheless compelling. That's crazy. In light of information unearthed during our investigation in Morocco, we now believe that Agent Lowry, Bruno, was in league with these harm chaps. But Volkov shot him. Perhaps to silence him. Or perhaps Lowry was demanding too much in exchange for his treachery. Alleged treachery. Lowry was a personal friend and one of our best agents. Unless he's proven guilty, he deserves to be honored, not slandered. In any case, it seems reasonable to assume that you weren't meant to escape, Miss Archer. Bruno was not a traitor. Can you be sure? Every man has his price, every woman too, I expect. When a man reaches the end of his career, it's only natural that he begins to worry about the future. I suppose some men of adaptable moral constitution even find it in themselves to resort to treason. What's your price, Mr. Smith? What are you insinuating? Merely that if Bruno were capable of treason, then so are we all. Enough. It is neither our prerogative nor our intent to judge Agent Lowry at this juncture. We will continue our investigation until we discover the truth. In the meantime, Archer... We must call upon you for another assignment. Although we call upon you reluctantly, I assure you. We've been contacted by an East German biophysicist named Dr. Otto Schenker, who wishes to defect to the West with our assistance. We know that Dr. Schenker is working on a secret Soviet weapons program, although the precise nature of his research remains a mystery to us. He has promised detailed information on the program in exchange for his freedom. It hardly seems necessary to underscore the great importance of this mission. We've had a devil of a time recruiting reliable spies in Berlin. It seems the Stasi have ears to every keyhole in East Germany. Which is why we're taking extra precautions. What sort of extra precautions? It's what we call a domino effect exchange. You'll meet with a series of contacts, each of whom will provide a piece of the puzzle, so to speak... Because the contacts don't know about each other or your mission, the vague information they possess will be meaningless to them, and, by extension, to the Stasi, should they get their hands on it. Perfect. We've also arranged a diversion to help cover your escape. Our man on the inside, Werner von Haupt, will place explosive charges at several locations in the record storage area. You'll need to locate these charges and set the timers. We also require that you infiltrate the main library and photograph certain sensitive documents pertaining to Dr. Schenker's research, in case he's not as forthcoming as he's promised to be. 
Von Haupt will present you with a disguise that should get you inside the test facility where Dr. Schenko will be working. Locate the doctor and get him out. Keep in mind that if this mission should succeed, we will have struck a mighty blow to the Soviets. We're counting on you, Archer. I won't let you down. Well, you can hardly botch this job as badly as Morocco. You might want to stop by the training facility and test out the new gadgets the toy makers have prepared for you. Okay, we're back in the training lab, and uh, they have some new gadgets for us. Advanced field tactics. Let's see what's what they have in store. What appears to be a stylish pair of women's sunglasses is actually a multiple exposure spy camera with an adjustable zoom. Simply put them on, orient the viewfinder, and snap a shot. Remember that you can zoom in for a closer look at a distant target. Take a picture of this intelligence item with your sunglasses. All right, now open the door to the next area. Unfortunately, this cigarette lighter is just an ordinary run-of-the-mill cigarette lighter. Still, it can be useful for providing light, starting fires, or lighting cigarettes. Use your cigarette lighter to light this piece of paper on fire. All right, now open the door to the next area. These relatively inconspicuous looking lipsticks are actually powerful explosive devices that detonate on impact. Accustom yourself to the weight and explosion radius, and try not to blow yourself to smithereens. Nice. More. What else do they have? There are several important things to know about security cameras. First, as tempting as it may be, don't destroy them if you can help it. Whoever is monitoring the security system is likely to send someone to investigate or even sound an alarm if any of the cameras goes out. Instead, try to avoid them altogether. If the light on a camera starts flashing, it means you've been detected and the camera is attempting to focus on you. Duck out of sight before you're identified as a threat. If you're close enough to the camera, you'll actually hear it focusing. Listen for it to resume scanning before stepping back into view. Finally, make sure not to leave any bodies lying in view of a camera. That's just as bad as being spotted. All right, now open the door to the next area. Okay, so here's the camera. Well done. Well, that was fairly easy. Searchlights Although... are also best avoided. Shooting them out will likely cause every bit as much commotion as being caught in the beam. Figure out their movement patterns before attempting to bypass them. All right, now open the door to the next area. Well, the searchlight just seems to go back and forth on one side, so this should be... This is fairly easy. Excellent! Excellent! Oh, that was it. Okay, so... Well, that was actually it for Requiem for a Spy. It wasn't, uh... It was just, uh... More or less... Uh and intermezzo, not really a mission, so let's move on to the next level. Blah blah blah... Intelligence data 1 of 2. Hmm. 
Didn't even see the other one. We've been contacted by Dr. Otto Schenker, an East German biophysicist who we believe is working on a top-secret biological weapons program for the Soviet Union. Dr. Schenker has expressed a desire to defect. He has asked us to assist him in exchange for information on his research. This opportunity couldn't have arisen at a worse time. After that embarrassment in Morocco, you're hardly our first choice to handle this affair, but all our other surviving operatives are tied up on equally critical assignments. If we want a chance at Schenker, it has to be now, and it has to be you, on your own. Okay, well, that vote of confidence they've given us is very comforting. So, infiltrate research compounds, set explosive charges, photograph classified documents, rendezvous with Verna von Haupt, and offer him a light, locate Dr. Schenker, escape East Berlin with Dr. Schenker. So, let's see what equipment we can get. Hmm, not sure if I'd actually prefer... carbine if I can get a silencer for it though because uh, there's quite a bit of uh, stealth in the beginning and I'm sure we can pick up the at least a machine gun from one of the uh, from one of the guards so we wouldn't really need it impact explosive uh, that, that was less important I usually don't use grenade in grenades in these kind of games. So we got sunglasses, we got coins, got the barrette and the cigarette lighter. We need the cigarette lighter to give the other guy a light. The only thing we don't have is the body remover, but mm, all the other items are too important. So I wouldn't leave any of them behind just to get the body remover, so I'll have to make do with these. Okay, well then we've got silencer for Hampton Carbine, perfect, the zoom feature for sunglasses, silencer for Shepard Arms, let's get the scope for the Hampton Carbine, and uh, well, we should be all set, so let's move on. This is just uh, the summary, very good, start mission, Berlin by night, scene one. Okay, so, what do, ooh, this guy looks fairly conspicuous, can he be our contact? Good enough, in Fraulein, do you make love to strangers? Certainly not. Then allow me to introduce myself. Why not just introduce yourself to a police officer and spare me the trouble? Who makes up these ghastly code phrases anyway? Someone in the cryptography department. Someone in need of a girlfriend, apparently. What do you have for me? Just this. The entrance is hidden. Thank you. Good luck. The entrance is hidden. Receive phone call at payphone. There it is. So, let's see. Hello. Are you free tonight? Or will it cost me? More than you can afford. Why must I be made to say such idiotic things? Never mind that. Just tell me what you have. I was told to say, in the basement. Thank you. Tell the person who wrote the code phrase to grow up. <laughs> uh, billing maintenance. Subtitle me the Stasi records and research facilities flooded again. Please send crew. The stench is unbearable. I have already fainted twice. Very nice. Don't envy that guy his job. Why are you still here? You've already done your job. Go away. Ooh, beer. Mmm. Mm. So. Wait a second. It said, uh... Here it is. Ring room 205. Then go upstairs and knock on a door. 205. Want to come in for a game of Twister? I'd rather run over you with my car. These code phrases have a somewhat confessional tone to them, don't you think? Yeah, now that you mention it. 
Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what's upstairs. So, 201, 202, 203, 204, 205. Oh, I was actually expecting to meet somebody. Hmm, it says, of the library. Rendezvous with contact in the bar. That must be where that beer sign was. Beer. Hmm. And here's another inconspicuous looking guy. You are the most beautiful girl I have ever seen. Can you cook and clean too? No, but I can put you in the hospital if you want. Maybe you can find someone to take care of you there. Maybe. What sort of imbecile says things like this? I'm afraid to find out. By the way, I am supposed to tell you this. Behind the shelf. Thanks. Please don't think that I enjoyed saying those things to you. Even though the words were not mine, I am so disgusted with myself that I must return home and wash myself with soap. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you are a kind young woman. I wish you luck. 